hunker down. Interest rates are still continuing to maintain a starring role in our real estate market. I'm Jim with the Bishop team, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Let's dive into the South Orange County housing market and see what's going on today here in November of 2022. Remember to subscribe to get updates like this so that you know what's going on here with Orange County Housing. And also you can click on the Calendly link to schedule an appointment to talk about your specific needs here in Orange County. While supply and demand ultimately rule the day in what happens in housing, interest rates continue to play a huge role in what's going on, not only here in Orange County, but across the country. Looking at a graph of 30 year interest rate trends, you can see how quickly interest rates spike. This was about a 52% increase. The line looks similar to back to 1980. That was only a 26% increase from the beginning to the end. So much more severe this time around. As we know, low interest rates really fueled a lot of buyer demand and really had the housing market on fire. So what's happening now that interest rates are going up? Well, we're seeing some big changes. While the Fed rate does not directly impact mortgages, it does spill over from short-term rates into longer-term rates, like a 30-year mortgage. Last week's 0.75 rise in the Fed rate did not translate into that into a 30-year fixed mortgage, but we did see it bump up a little bit. So how does all that bake into housing? Well, here we go. Supply is defined as the number of homes for sale that are not in escrow. Inventory today is up 133% compared to this time last year. This time last year, we were approaching almost no homes for sale, so we got to keep that in mind. We have about 1,256 homes for sale here at the beginning of November, which is almost the exact same number of 1,251 being beginning of October, so no real change there. However, this time of the year, you generally see the inventory levels start to decline. This is also comparable back to the levels we had in June. So usually going up in the summer and down in the winter. If you look at this chart, you can see in 2022, the green line is flat, not dropping. A lot of people thought the number would be rising and we'll get to why that's not happening later, but inventory is not going down. As you can also see, inventory is down 46% compared to 2019. So, you know, longer term, we still have a relative, very low uh, number of homes for sale. One of the reasons that inventory is not rising is the number of new homes that are coming on the market. The number of sellers who are putting their home on the market is down 20% compared to last year, down 26% compared to 2019. That's the fewest number of homes to come on the market January to August, as long as I've been tracking. It. So not a lot of sellers taking that uh, step of putting their home on the market. As we talked about last week, sellers continue to play hide and seek and they're hunkering down. We'll get into why. 89% of mortgages in California are less than 5%, 71% are less than 4%, and 29% are less than 3%. So for the sellers like, eh, maybe I'll move and you know trade in my 2.5% for a 6.5% or a 7.5% interest rate, those sellers have really decided not to leave the building. Is that increase in their interest rate could increase if even if they bought the same house uh, price could increase their mortgage payment by 50 percent so those sellers that, that are going to move for the heck of it they're gone so let's talk about buyers demand is buyers that are in escrow that's one way to measure buyer activity number of homes in escrow decreased from 670 homes down to 502 homes by the beginning of November. That's a 25% decrease just in a month and the lowest level we've seen since January of 2008. As you may recall, the peak for homes in escrow this year was at 1,051 in April. And so we're, um, we're down two thirds from there. We're also below 2021 levels by 51% and below 2019 escrow levels at this time of year by 54%. Unit sales compared to the previous year by month are down for the 14th consecutive month, meaning October to October, August to August, June to June, that type of trend down 14 months in a row. Year to date, we're down 32% compared to 2021, which was a fairly fast paced year, but we're also down 11% compared 
compared to 2019, which was meh, so so. So what's our market index doing? Well, this is the ratio of the homes for sale versus homes in escrow. For October, we went from a 206 to a 250, meaning there's about 2.5 homes for sale for every one on, on the market. That's the slowest since May of 2020, which is right when the COVID lockdown was, was kicking in. Still not bad historically, but um, <laughs> when you've been going so strong and so fast since June of 2020, it's a very quick and big slowdown. It's like if you're going way over the speed limit and suddenly you slow down to 70, 75 miles per hour. It seems like you're going slow. Historically, it's, it's a pretty good pace, but not the 100 miles an hour that we were doing just earlier in the year. All said, some cities still have less than a two month supply. Laguna Hills and Lake Forest being the exceptions, they have a less than a two month supply. In South Orange County, two and a half months supply with Dana Point being at the high end at just under four months supply. So that leads us into pricing low inventory, low buyer demand, and high interest rates, what has that done? Well, let's take a look. As you may recall, prices went up 3% in September, but then came down 4% in October, erasing those gains. Year to date, we're down about 8% from the peak, which was the April-May timeframe based on a dollar per square foot basis. So that puts us up about 12% compared to last year, about 3% year to date up. So it's all relative. Are we up? Are we down? The answer is still yes. A little bit bigger perspective. We're up about 45% from December of 2019. Remember to subscribe so you're getting these updates and you can stay on top of the real estate market. So what's next? Well, the crystal ball is broken and we've got a lot of things going on in the next uh, month. The Thanksgiving, the holidays, Black Friday, USC UCLA football game, the election, all of that is going to have a lot of uh, impact on the markets. Typically, November is one of the slowest months, fewer days, and uh, just with the holidays, um, sellers and buyers usually take a break. But tune in next month so that you see exactly what's happening here in South Orange County. If you need to know before uh, month end, give us a call. That's what we're here for. Remember, different cities and neighborhoods have different trends and um, different factors that go into their what's happening in housing. Uh, we are here to help you make the right move, navigate the, uh, the shifty market, whether it's up, down, or sideways. We have the experience and the know-how to, uh, to help you navigate that. Hope you'll give us a call, click on the uh, scheduling link, shoot us a text, and we look forward to seeing you here next month. I'm Jim with the Bishop Team, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services.